these buttons here have been made to first switch to a specific dongle and then send a command. So inside of this button, there is the macro to switch to computer number one and then set send the advanced slide. It then switches to computer number one and sends the back slide. And in the same way down here, it switches to computer number two and sends the forward slide and forward slide. So that way we have uh, full control of the two PCs and uh, we're doing it all with single buttons. So what do we have to do if we wanted to change that? What if I wanted this button to advance this slide over here? So let's do that. We're going to go in here and say edit and edit remote. Now we're on the editing screen. We can double tap this and we can see that inside of here there's a macro and the macro function says first switch to computer number one and then advance the PowerPoint slide. What we're going to do is edit the button and get rid of this switch to computer number one. Instead we're going to add switch to computer number two. So we're going to go in here and say add function and then go into advanced and switch iWave at dongle. Inside here it's done a scan and we can redo the scan uh, to scan for all USB dongles just to make sure it's up to date and it says there's two different USB dongles and here's one called computer number two and here's one called computer number one and I say I want to switch to uh, computer number one. The only reason there's a little green uh, check mark here means that that's actually the one that we're controlling right now but I'm going to switch call that one um, computer number one that I want to switch to and then I'm still in editing mode so I can drag this up. The order of this means which command to send first. So it's going to send the first command which is switch to computer number one and then it's going to send the PowerPoint slide uh, advance. So I'm going to say done and go out of this and now I've create, I have a new remote <laughs> effectively and when I advance the slide it advances now computer number one's uh, uh, slide. And of course you can create any set of macros that you want. But the key thing is we can now put functions inside of here that allow us to switch to any different number of 16 different uh, dongles that we have in, in the near vicinity. So we can control 16 uh, PCs at once if we want to.